Right, so everybody wants to be productive, right? It basically means you're doing the most important thing efficiently and over a sustained period of time. So whether you're going for health goals, whether you're going for financial goals, wealth goals, it just means you're gonna hit it a lot quicker with less energy invested. So you can use that time, use those resources, put them into other areas of life, like friends and family, whatever. So you know how great productivity is. You can go on YouTube right now, see thousands of videos about it. Yet, I reckon there's a massive part of productivity that's completely left out, and that is the health component. Because health is essentially the energy that you bring into productivity. You can have every single system in the world, right? You can have the to-do lists, the task managers, but if you walk into a day groggy, brain fogged, and not cognitively optimized, you're not going to be productive. So with that, I wanna share with you one of the biggest health hacks that I have come across to boost your productivity. And I mean, doing it will literally ensure that you are super cognitively optimized, very sharp, very focused, and just going through tasks, executing them one after another with a lot of efficiency. And what I'm talking about is fasting. But let me explain real quickly. You see, when you have food in your system, i.e. you've just eaten, your body's energy resources are all gonna be allocated towards digestion and extracting nutrients from that food. That means things like focusing, things like thinking up new ideas are not gonna have nearly as much juice as they would have had if you have just eaten. And then there's the opposite side. Fasting prevents blood sugar spikes. When you've just eaten, your blood sugar goes up, your energy levels rise, you feel more energetic, and then insulin brings those blood sugar levels down, which means that you feel groggy and you feel a little off after. And then fasting enhances your cognition. You see, our ancestors were so addicted to getting food and resources so they could survive. Thus, fasting was therefore the trigger for our ancestors to be a lot more focused, a lot more optimized, so they could get that next meal. Now, I wanna share with you a really quick story about how fasting was quite honestly a game changer and perhaps even it landed me a promotion. So, I used to be an SDR, which very simply put, requires me to pick up the phone, cold call clients and book meetings. Now, the thing about an SDR is that every single meeting you book, you actually get paid for it. It's commission based and it actually allows you to get down to a really fine science how many dials you need to make in order to book those meetings. Now this particular summer, we just caught wind through management that there was a promotion opportunity available, which means whoever was on the top of the leaderboard that month would be looked at as becoming an inside sales representative for this company. Now, I don't even need to tell you, being out of an SDR role was very attractive, right? Um, it means that I can actually do a lot more than just get rejected all day, and um, you know it was a lot better from an income perspective too. So I roll into work, I pick up my laptop, put on my headset, and I begin ferociously dialing. I call Sally, she's not interested, that's fine. Put the phone down and give John a call. John refers me to Ian. So I put the phone down, dial Ian, and see what's up. Ian is interested in what I have to propose. So I plug it into the calendar, secure my first meeting of the day, and try my best to achieve the four meetings that are needed that will put me at the top of the leaderboard and guarantee me recognition for that inside sales role. Lunchtime rolls up. I look back at my stats, 20 dials, and two meetings secured. I'm off to a good start. I go ahead and have lunch with the lads, enjoy my sandwich, have a bit of banter. Then after that's finished, I roll back into work to begin dialing. This time round, I feel just far, far less motivated. I'm kind of questioning what I'm about to say before my pitch. And each dial that I'm doing, I'm just a lot slower. It's like my mental gears are moving twice as slow as they used to. I can't really focus, I have a lot less motivation and attention. Why is this the case? So the day rolls to an end, I look at my scorecard, I've scored two meetings in the morning again after about 40 dials, of which 30 of those dials came before 12 p.m. 
Why does this keep happening? Why every single time when lunch hits, my cognition just seems to drop out the window and even though I'm using all these productivity systems, task managers, to-do lists, why can't I seem to have that same kind of energy that I had in the morning than in the afternoon? I go on a massive research spree, pick up all the podcasts, read loads of books, why is lunch causing a dip in my energy? The truth becomes blatantly obvious. Every single time that I'm eating, that is affecting my productivity. I go to work the week following with a new plan in mind. I'm not going to eat my lunch until 2.30 today and let's see what happens. So I put down my laptop, put on my headset and begin dying away. With ferocious productivity, I begin getting through those dials until lunchtime hits. Lunchtime hits, I roll in with the lads, have a bit of banter, but this time I don't eat a single thing. Then, as I resume back to my work, I realize I've got so much more energy, so much more cognition, and so much more vigor than I previously did. It gets to 2.30 and I have already secured four meetings for the day and was way on track to secure a position at the top of the leaderboard as an inside sales representative. So I assure you, fasting is a real game changer and a strong cognitive tool to add to your arsenal. You can have every productivity system in the world, but if you don't have some of these principles nailed, like your health, and even better, a hack like fasting, then you're just gonna end up with loads of calendars, loads of gadgets, and still not more productive. Now, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a little different, right? I don't wanna just offer the similar content that's out there already. I wanna give a unique spin on it from my own experience and also from a more health and holistic lens as opposed to just you know downloading an app and whatnot. So stay tuned and subscribe if you'd like to see more.